Today's question is What are the factors affecting the rate of dissolution? Have you tried dissolving milk powder in cold water? How about in hot water? Obviously, it is easier to dissolve milk powder in hot water than in cold water. One factor influencing the rate of dissolution is temperature. How quickly or easily the solute dissolves in the solvent is referred to as the rate of dissolution. Here are the different factors that affect the rate of dissolution. Number 1. Particle Size The dissolution processes takes place at the surface of the solute. Increasing the surface of the solute accelerates the dissolution process. For example, if you put granulated sugar in a glass of iced tea, it will dissolve more quickly than the same amount of sugar in a cube. That is because all those tiny particles of granulated sugar have greater total surface area than a single sugar cube. Number 2. Steering or Agitation the interaction of the solute and solvent particles is part of the dissolution process. When you steer or agitate the solute in the solvent, you help disperse the solute particles into the solvent, thus increasing the dissolution rate. Agitation also involves the shaking of the solution. For example, when you add sugar to water and then steer the water, the sugar will dissolve faster. If you don't steer the water, the sugar may eventually dissolve, but it will take much longer. And number three, heating. In general, a solute dissolves faster in a warmer solvent than it does in a cooler solvent because particles have more energy of movement. For example, if you add the same amount of sugar to a cup of hot water and a cup of cold water, the sugar will dissolve faster in the hot water.